Do you know who is Guglielmo Marconi? Marconi is the first to send a long range, more than 3,100 kilometers, wireless message. And the first to successfully transmit a wireless transmission across the Atlantic Ocean. And the peak of his inventions at the end of the 19th century and the beginning of the 20th century. He is the inventor of the wireless telegraph, and one of those who helped discover electromagnetic waves with the invention of the radio. In 1901 Marconi developed a transmitter and receiver and established a wireless station in Ireland, County Galway. On December 12, 1901, he announced the use of an antenna 152 meters high, and sent a message to Signal Hill in St. John's, Newfoundland, now part of Canada, and succeeded. The distance between the two points was more than 3,100 kilometers. Imagine with me? More than 3,100 kilometers across the Atlantic Ocean. And he had other experiences, and he alone among them in the year 1910 sent wireless messages from Ireland to Argentina, and it succeeded. It means more than 9,650 kilometers. But this experience we leave for another post, and go back to his first experience. With a simple calculation and measuring the curvature of the Earth at a distance of 3,100 kilometers. With this distance, it is assumed that there will be an estimated curvature of 703 kilometers, which means, according to the theory of the spherical Earth, that the experiment is impossible to succeed. The important thing, dear ones, is to ask yourself or any communications engineer. Do electromagnetic or radio waves bend with the curvature of the Earth? And with a bend of more than 700 kilometers? Or is the Earth really flat? Or do you expect there were, satellites in 1901? The first wireless connection was made from Italy, Europe, to Buenos Aires, Argentina, South America. More than 9,000 kilometers across the Atlantic Ocean. If the Earth was a ball, would the London radio broadcasts, for example, reach us? Practical experiences that prove that the Earth is flat, cradle, bed, rug, and stretched as described by its creator are many, but the difference, my dear ones, is that most are convinced of what has been indoctrinated and transmitted to them through a number of means, and between those who strived a little and searched by themselves and meditated on the creation of the heavens and the earth as God commanded him. We do not find such experiments, inventions and scientists in the curricula or documentaries. Why, thank you for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe.